Hello, I'm Tim Cockrell from Wise Media. I'm here with Shane Brown from the Nelson Mandela Municipality in Port Elizabeth area in, in South Africa. Welcome. Thanks for speaking Thank with us today. Um, what I'm interested to learn about is, is how, I understand your metropolitan area is quite a widespread area and pulling together in the context of, of secure security and urban security in a wider rather than just a city. Um, Con the confines of just a city must be quite a task. What do you have in place? Yes, yes, it is quite a task. Um, the metro being a fairly large and diverse area, you've got from your highly economic, active people to the poorest of the poor people all in the, the one um, pot as such. And oh, okay. what we've tried to start bringing out, we, we've started out with biometric um, access control systems. We've, started, we've been rolling out for the last 10 years a CCTV system throughout the metropole, um, which we've tried to make as diversify as possible in that we used the World Cup uh, as, as one of our big starting programs when we hosted the World Cup. However, you know, we've taken it into the communities. We've looked at CCTV from a, cri a crime safer, safer point of view, but we've also looked at it from disaster management, fire services, and even traffic services, where we use looking at all electronic, the electronic equipment available to actually monitor and try and prevent a, a lot of accidents happening. Okay, so it's spread right across. It's not just from the securities. It's more, no. more of a more of a sort of community very, very much so. Angle. Yes. Moving towards a safer city. Okay. And you, you, you mentioned that it's across this area. What, what's the size of the, okay, the, the area? Ar the area of the Nelson Mandela Bay yeah. municipality um, includes Port Elizabeth, Utenag, Dispatch, and then these outlying areas, farming areas, Rocklands, Colchester, Van Stadens, which is more of a holiday area, Seaview. So it's, it's, a, it's a huge metropolitan area, but very diverse, um, as I said, we, from urban to um, rural areas. And are there some specific security issues that you need, needed to address? Yes, um, South Africa obviously has got a crime problem. Sure. Um, we are addressing it. Um, I'm not saying anywhere else doesn't have that problem. Um, we, we acknowledge that problem, and that's one of the areas that we are trying to, trying to address in trying to reduce crime. But obviously we want to, we want to feel, make our inhabitants or residents feel safe, but we also want our visitors to feel safe. Um, and in your, in, in your experience, was the infrastructure already there, or did you need to, to build things from scratch pretty much? Basically, we pretty much had to build it from scratch. Really? Uh -huh. um, we had, I think when I started, we probably had three cameras in the CBD area, and that was it. Um, we're now sitting with something like 800, 900 CCTV cameras in, throughout the city, and, and we're still growing. There's still a lot more to be done. Um, as well as the, the biometrics access control. That's something fairly new over the last five years or so that we've been bringing in. And where is that in place? The, see, um, the, the, bi the biometrics, access control, it's, it's which all, our, all our municipal buildings, um, mm -hmm. fr from the city hall to all office blocks. And we, we've got something like well, three, four hundred buildings throughout the metro. Not all of them have the system in place, but obviously all the, we, we, we did basically a risk assessment and, and we put the biometric systems into the Key, the key structures first that we felt that, that were the most strategically important to the metro first. Okay. And in terms of results, have you, have, can you actually quantify an improvement in, in um, yes. security uh, but also possibly quality of life for residents and perhaps the workers, the, the people who actually operate these systems? Um, yes, definitely. Um, when we've used it both in, in um, conjunction with one another, we have picked up um, theft that we've managed to prevent and in so sometimes even when, when the theft has happened we've been able to quickly follow up and actually arrest the perpetrators as, as far as um, the crime. Mm -hmm. um, we've also made a few mistakes along the way but um, there's definitely been some very positive results in the processes and we, I, I used the World Cup as an example where um, we hosted the World Cup in our city, um, obviously some of the key, key games in the, in the city and during that period of time we had an absolutely incident free time. So it's, it has so it's its successes and, yeah. And, yeah. It, and it can work even better. I would imagine also building something, not necessarily from scratch, but almost from scratch, needs quite a lot of buy-in in terms of, of support from different, different organizations possibly, or needing collaboration within the city. Did you, did you need yes. to address this issue? Yes, it, w it was an ad issue that we addressed, but it's also an issue that you, you con continuously have to address and bring everybody back together. Um, you know, obviously, um, being, being a local government where, as, as I was saying, 
we've got um, my responsibilities, Metropolitan Police, um, Traffic Department, Security, Fire and Emergency and Disaster Management. However, South African Police Services, we needed to bring in board, but also your um, private security. Private security in South Africa is, is a huge industry. And we needed to bring them on board as well as the, the community and um, naturally our employees. As well, yeah, yeah, because I guess they they're, they're the, the ones, ones they're the ones who see what's going on. Very, very much so. And the people, quite often, we we forget about an important factor: the people that sit behind all of this instrument. Um, if they are not properly trained and understand what the processes are and what can be done with the equipment, um, you're not actually enjoying the full value of of the possibility, the endless possibilities yeah, of the absolutely. equipment. Yeah, yeah, great. Well, it's very interesting and good luck with keeping it as secure as it sounds. Thank but you. Thanks for talking to us today. Uh, thank you very thanks. much. Thanks.